Hello guys, Nick Jers here and today I'm going to teach you how to watch stream on Twitch without lags. As you may know, about a week or two ago Twitch changed their API and now not Stars Player, not Cherry Player, not uh, many other applications do not work. Those used to uh, save us from lags and uh, now they don't. If you, we will try to launch a stream in uh, Tars Player, for instance, it won't work because there is no update. And uh, now I'm going to show you a few ways of watching streams without lagging. Well, first of all is of course VPN. Now I'm connected to a VPN and uh, I can watch basically any stream without any lagging. Uh, my VPN is called Pure VPN, and uh, I use it with a direct uh, dedicated IP connection to watch it uh, through my browser in split tunneling mode. But I won't recommend this VPN for everyone. For everyone, I'd recommend using free VPNs such as HoloVPN or Zenmate. Zenmate is a kind of free VPN without any limitations. You can do with it whatever you want. Uh, HoloVPN is uh, a bit uh, more complicated. It is more like a torrent client that allows you to share your internet with other users for free. Or if you are going to pay it, then you won't share your internet with anybody else. Uh, next thing I can use is Listreamer. It is a console application which allows you to easily go and uh, watch streams through your console. You just go to your uh, command line input and do live streamer and uh, Twitch TV slash uh, your uh, streamer's nickname, for instance, that Headcraft TV. Uh, and the last thing, which is the most easy at the moment, is using SVP Tube. It is a side application for smooth video projects that converts any video to 60 FPS. And it allows you to easily, by copy pasting, launch a stream in your default uh, media player and watch it in 60 FPS. If there are lots of uh, quality options, it will show you all quality options, but for one, you can pick it, press watch and use it in 60 FPS. And if you are going to show video stats and uh, if it is played in 30 FPS, you would be able to watch it in 60 FPS with all the statistics here. It transfers 30 FPS or 40 FPS to 60, so you get the smoothest experience. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, hit a like button and be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Sneaky Joe's here, have a nice day.